हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोविंग टू डिस्कस द इन्फोसिस इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज द लेटेस्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन फॉर द इन्फोसिस सो लेट्स बिगिन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एक्सप्लेन हाउ डू यू पिक विच टेस्ट केसेस टू ऑटोमेट सो वेन वी चूज विच टेस्ट केसेस टू ऑटोमेट और नॉट सो द अवर गोल इज टू मैक्सिमाइज आर ओ आई आर ओ आई मीन्स रिटर्न ऑन इन्वेस्टमेंट our goal is to maximize roi reduce manual effort and the increase test coverage and reliability so we don't automate everything because there is a different different uh, test cases uh, for the automation some are the repetitive test cases some are the regression test cases some are the moocs and sanity test cases some stable and the mature functionality test cases some test cases is the performance based so uh, while automating the test cases we have to uh, take a some important point like the test cases should be repetitive the test cases should be high risk test cases means critical set, uh, flow test cases security based test cases the test cases uh, is a, a, a regression test cases we take in for the automation test cases uh, then stable and the mature functionality test cases we take for the automations and the performance test cases load and the st uh, st stress wise test cases we take for the automation then which test cases we can't automate so the test cases we can write one time we can't uh, uh, automate these test cases uh, the test cases is uh, for the exploratory testing uh we can't use this exploratory testing to uh, in the automations or the uh, new and unstable feature means the test cases having new and unstable feature uh we can't take this uh, or test cases for the automation so while uh, selecting the test cases we have to take uh, some uh, important po point regarding automations like the test cases has a repetitive manner regret the test cases has to a uh, regression test cases mock and the sanity test cases stable and the mature functionality test cases so a uh, real as we see the real time exam exam example so auto means with logging and uh, login and the logout functionality used in almost every test cycle so we can take this for the automations check out process in an e-commerce application so this test cases it has a security and the uh, uh, critical flow so we can also take this test cases for the automation search functionality with the multiple input and the api test that rerun return consistent output so these are the real time example that we have to take for the automation so which test cases we have to avoid so ui color alignment check text validation in frequently changing ui and one time data migration test means one time test cases and test that need a real human decision so so these test cases we avoid for the automations role now some there is a some checklist before automating the test cases so we have to check the uh, check that like uh, is the test stable and predictable is it executed frequently if it is executed frequently so we can take this test cases for the automation is it functionality and the business critical so we can automate login payment and booking it this test time consuming if done manually so if this take if this consuming uh, if if it is time consuming so we can take this test cases for the automation and can the test be validated using automation assertion so yes we expected result are clear we we can automate this test cases now the question is how to explain this question in the interview so we have to tell like that in the interview so i follow a strategy approach to test automation i first analyze which test cases are repeated across test cycle which are business uh business critical which are prone to human error for example in my last project if you have to, if you have explained the project wise so interviewer uh interviewer think that you have a um, knowledge about you have a practical knowledge so you we have you have to explain like that for example in my last project i prioritized automating the regression suit login logout and the core booking flows these were stable repeatedly used i avoid automating automation test test cases that are highly ui dependent or frequently changing as maintaining then become more time consuming so in this way we ha you have to explain this question in the interview so guys in this way you have you have to explain this question in the interview so how do you pick the which cases which test cases to automate or no so uh, moving to the next question 
सो बिफोर मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई हैव क्रिएटेड वन नोट्स विच कंटेन फोर थाउजेंड प्लस इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सॉरी दिस इज अ फोर फोर थाउजेंड प्लस इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर आई हैव गैदर दिस क्वेश्चन फॉर द वेरियस प्लेटफॉर्म लाइक लिंक्रीन लिंक्रीन ग्रुप टेलीग्राम चैनल व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप व्हाट्सएप चैनल एंड अदर प्लेटफॉर्म एंड आई हैव ट्राई टू प्रोवाइड इट्स आंसर इन वेरी डिटेल विथ अ रियल टाइम एग्जाम्पल एंड ऑल्सो आई हैव इंक्लूड दैट हाउ टू एक्सप्लेन दिस क्वेश्चन इन द इंटरव्यू सो आई एम गिविंग इट्स लिंक in the comment box and the description bo- box if you want this notes i am giving its link in the comment box and the description box the notes tra- the notes contain 1000 plus selenium question 500 plus manual testing interview question 1000 plus java interview questions so like that you can uh, you can see in on the screen so if you want this notes i am giving its link in the comment box or the description box so please go through this link and if you have any queries so i am giving my uh, email in the description box so you can uh, you can send me a email i am also uh, and from today i have started to share the job vacancy related to the manual test and, and the automation tester uh, so i am giving my insta uh, insta channel in the description box so you can follow my insta channel i am giving the job vacancy uh, related to the manual testing and the automation testing on the daily basis so you can join uh, my insta channel i am giving its link in the description box now the next question is write a code to find the broken links in the selenium so first we will see what is the broken link so broken links means the link which is not active on the page is called the broken link so to find the broken uh, to find the broken link using selenium we have to first collect the all anchor tag on the page means first we have to collect the all anchor tag then we have to send the http request to each url then we have to check their http status and identify the broken link like like 404 not found 500 internal server error so uh first we have to uh, collect all anchor tag on the page then we have to extract the href attribute from each element and validate it using on the http connections uh, and if the status code is 400 or above so we mark it as a broken link and we also skip empty or non http links and this approach help identify broken url early improving the application usability so i am sharing its code uh, on the screen so these are the code uh, for the broken link and this question is a most important question because interviewer asks to write this syntax sorry to write this code so this is the most important question regarding interview so we will see the step by step uh, step by step execution so f- this is a code for the broken links first we have to set path the chrome driver means we have to uh, launch the web driver that is web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver then driver dot get here we pass the our uh, link where we want to check for the broken link then we will collect all the uh, anchor tag all link are because all link are usually within the ahrf tag and we collect all such element using uh, selenium because here we finding this link by using driver dot find elements then <coughs> we will print this link uh, link size means how how many links are present on the web page by using link dot size then so here we are using for each loop to iterate through each link and we here we extract href attribute